Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrappin' 2. Today we'll be making this art journal page and this will be my first page on the dictionary cover that we altered not too long ago, which you see here. So this will be my first uh, journal in this page. As you can see, I've attached uh, some of these vintage envelopes. Uh, that you can get from Tupelo Designs LLC or when you place an order you probably get your products inside of those envelopes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do to that inside page yet but uh, I wanted to work on my first page. So here I cut out a window using a cardstock that I foiled using the deco foil. You can use any window die that you have. You can even use a rectangle die to create your own window if you like. This was just uh, in my stash. Here I'm tearing out some pages randomly. And I'm going to use this uh, wall stamp from Bow Bunny. And I'll be using some archival ink. You want to use an ink that is waterproof so that it won't get smudged when you put water or mediums on top. This uh, color is sepia. Here I'm making some lines because I want to completely uh, cover those areas with the wall. So obviously this is a dictionary book, so the pages are very thin, so we're going to attach a couple of them together. So now that that's done, I'm going to ink on, ink on the same color, the same pad here, around the torn edges. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go ahead and fix that later on. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and attach these two pages together using a gel medium. The gel medium that I'm using today is from Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft. This is a matte gel medium, so it will dry completely matte. So here I'm attaching the two pages together, and then I'm going to attach uh, another paper here. Because this is a dictionary page, they're very thin and fragile, so this will make it a little bit more durable for us to work on. And then once that was done, get all the air bubbles out. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, matte medium all over this page. And I'm going to let that dry. And now we're going to add some gesso. And I'm using the same uh, Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts line of gesso. This is a white gesso. Uh, I don't want to cover up the entire text background. Uh, so I'm adding a little bit of water to dilute it so that the text uh, shows through it. I'm wiping some off here and there. And then I'm going to let that dry. So now I put a piece of wax paper there too so that the pages don't get stuck together. And I'm going to use some Deco Art Media paints. This is the Hansa Yellow. These uh, paints are fantastic. They are excellent price. They are, they are artist quality uh, paints, so they are highly pigmented. What's great about this is that it dries completely uh, permanent, so we can work over it and it won't um, bother the bottom layer, I mean the layer that we put on. Here I'm using some burnt sienna as well, using my finger, just randomly adding some color. So here I have this clear crackle paste. This is by Prima Marketing. And this will dry completely clear and it will have cracks which will give us a fantastic texture. A little tip is uh, go ahead and mix it up with your palette knife and then go ahead and put some and that's what I'm doing here. 
Um, I'm adding just randomly here and there, uh, some areas thicker than others, and that will give you different uh, cracks. Uh, I think the best thing to do with these crackle paste is uh, to let it dry completely air dry. And normally that's what I do for my paste, but today I was very impatient, so I didn't let it air dry. I used a heat gun. So it, I didn't get the crackle effect that I was really looking for, and that that's, uh, was my fault. So now I grab this alphabet stamp. This is a bow bunny stamp as well. I'm going to go ahead and use some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. This will also be permanent once it's dried. So I'm going to go ahead and spell out some of uh, my quote. Here I'm spelling out confined. You can use any uh, alphabet stamp that you have. There are a lot of uh, varieties available at the store. So go ahead and check them out. After I did this, and then I'm going to go ahead and spell uh, walls. And then because I can't really see right above, because the camera is above me, and I didn't want my big head to get in the way, um, as you can see, you'll see later that the, um, the stamping is a little crooked. So I go off camera and finish stamping the rest of the words and the uh, sentences or words. So here I grab this um, Faber-Castell Design Memory Crafts again. This is a stencil, one of the stencil pack. Uh, out of all the stencils that I had, this was the only brick stencil that I had. So this is what I use. And I'm using some of the Imagine Crafts Gold Texture Paste. These are fantastic because they are really great price. And uh, there's a lot of it in the jar, which will last you a very long time. So again, uh, before letting everything dry here, I'm adding color already. I grabbed the Bow Bunny. This is the bronze as well as the gold. I'm not spraying it, but I just uh, opened up the nozzle and just put some drops here and there. And this is a Hero Arts Unicorn. And here I grabbed another Prima stamp and I've used the same ink here, sepia, and I put some stamping using this stamp. At that part got cut off for some reason. And now I grabbed this Deco Art uh, spray. This is carbon black. This is uh, really great. Actually, sorry, this is the bronze again, the Bow Bunny's bronze shimmer mist. I really like that. When you're done using these stamps, go ahead and wipe off the nozzle with your paper towel and that'll help it from getting clogged up because these have mica. So here again, I sprayed it on top of the window. And because this is a foiled um, cardstock it's very slick so not many uh, medium will stick on it but it was a little bit too bright for the background so I want to kind of mute it down so here I grab the Faber Castell this is the pit artist pens this is a stamper's big brush um, using the walnut brown and again uh, the bottom layers are not completely dried yet so um, you should let it dry before you add these because otherwise uh, it will ruin the tips of your pens. So here I have my uh, quote uh, kind of stamped out and I just cut it using just scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see there I, I put some color, kind of like a bronze color at the top of the window so that it won't be stark silver. And finally, I decided that I needed to let it dry. So this is the next day and everything is completely dried.
And you can see that fantastic shimmer from the gold uh, texture paste that we used as well as you can't really see the cracks uh, on camera unfortunately that's because I didn't let it completely dry I heat dried it and then I added color on top of it when it wasn't dried so we'll definitely uh, use more of it so I can show you what it looks like here I'm going around that torn edge with the pit artist pen this is stamper's big brush pen and adding adding some highlights because we put gel medium on top of this whole page uh, it's going to make the page non-porous which means you have a little bit of time to move the ink around these pens are fantastic because they are permanent once they are dried because they have india ink in them and they are archival and waterproof so they are fantastic so now I'm using this text stamp and I'm using, um, here I use a lighter color but I went back to my sepia and I'm adding some stamping here and there. This is also from Prima Marketing, just randomly here and there. And I apologize if this uh, voiceover is a little weird because um, I'm using a uh, external mic uh, microphone that I purchased but I don't know it's I'm getting adjusted to it so I apologize if it the voiceover is kind of weird so here I grabbed the crafters uh, companion um, crafters workshop I'm sorry is the butterfly collage mini stencil I love these stencils because there are so many different designs on one stencil so they they are very um, worth it in my opinion because you're getting all these designs all in one uh, page this is where I grab the deco art uh, spray this is carbon black and it's really black you can see here I flipped it over and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the residue to stamp it and here and there I'm also putting it on some other pages but you do want to clean those off right away on your stencils uh, because they are permanent so they will remain uh, that color if you don't uh, wash it off right away so here you can see I'm trying to take it off but it's already kind of on there so I had to go to the sink and then scrub it and it came off so now I've adhered all uh, my words and I'm using some silk acrylic glaze. These are fantastic paints. They are very mm -hmm. sparkly and very shimmery. And again, um, the concentration of the colors are excellent. But I'm diluting it here because I want the words to show through. But I did want to put some color to the word confined and walls. So they are very shimmery. I'll share later on uh, more uh, of the of these paints and how they uh, look in later uh, videos. But here I kind of diluted it quite a bit. So now I the I kind of tilted the book sideways because I wanted to show you that I went over the words with a paintbrush and the Deco Arts paint. So this is the carbon black paint. Uh, you can use a like a marker, or like something like the Pit Artist pens to do this. Uh, sometimes I use like a credit card or something to make the lines. But today, for some reason, I wanted to use a paintbrush. So I'm just grabbing the paint straight off of the cap of the Deco Art paint, and I'm just going around the words so that the words will pop out more. And I'm using a real fine brush but again it doesn't need to be perfect that's not like the look I was going for I grabbed this bow bunny this is um, a glitter paste I believe this color is copper it looks pink but once it's dried it has that 
copper metallic look to it and I wanted to color in the walls the letters confined and walls so I'm using that to color it in you can use any uh, paints but I decided to use that and I've also used it here and there I put it on the window as well at the top you can see and I've also added it to some areas you can see that crack right there it's really really cool but um, next time I'll let it completely dry so that we could uh, add color on top of it and it'll go in between the crevices so I've added the Bow Bunny's um, glitter paste here and there as you can see right there I've added it to the walls and then I went over that with the Pit Artist Pen. All the words, I went over it uh, with the Pit Artist Pens. So this finishes off my uh, page for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't want too much dimension because obviously I want these to close. So I didn't put anything else after that. But um, you can check out this fantastic texture there. I really like the way this page turned out. I love the quote, which says, you are only confined by the walls you build yourself. I think that is really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the supplies will be uh, available on my blog, so go ahead and check that out. I thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.